I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin. In this video, we're going to have a look at the crypto launchpad market of today. Starting off with Bitcoin just taking a nosedive towards the 40k level. Quite dangerous over the last seven days, moving from basically that 47k all the way down to about 40k right now just under 41k however at a dangerously low level uh, if it would go uh, beyond uh, the, the depth that it's currently at so below 40k we can definitely see some new fears on the horizon and we went from extreme fear last month to neutral even some some bullishness in the market when bitcoin uh, went on a small rally upwards right now back in the very familiar fear however i am planning to take access uh, to into a launchpad to make a launchpad entry live in this video so do make sure you watch until the end so you know which way we're going if you are into ideos and launchpads definitely check out trackdigits.com my software platform currently free to use while in beta all we want in return is your feedback you can basically track all your investments it integrates with google calendar and it lets you know when to claim your tokens so you can basically potentially sell before everybody else and have the highest return on your investment never be late with the claim again and also do not spend hours on trying to find the highest roi the statistics because we have it here all populated for you trackdigits.com sign up for free link in the description below for the launch pads they are suffering right they are suffering very significantly about three percent down overall however we can see big big drops the biggest loser of today well the biggest gainer actually first paid network with 20 percent however that pump is already being eaten up by the bitcoin crash so they did pump quite significantly more than what is showing right here but it's going down again right so they basically went from about 20 cents to 30 cents and already back uh, halfway down again so i don't think i would say it's unlikely that they would be able to sustain this volume right phantom starter making a very slight gain but better than nothing and then we have some zero percents however there are some losers kcc pad tron pad uh, 33 percent 30 percent yellow road 28 percent those are huge numbers on the decline engine starter as well 13 percent down after their quite good rally uh, obviously i'm usually quite negative on their token but they seem to have uh, quite good progress uh, in terms of recovery um, on the token value compared to the previous cycles right which we can see definitely a pattern here uh, but then there's a huge drop so maybe an unstaking in line with the bitcoin crash at the same time but definitely a huge downward trend uh, and we can see across three months it's been a nightmare right for this project i hope that they can recover from that soon bin started down as well avalanche down super farm down moon started down pulse pad down everything is basically down we're basically at this point trying to have damage control to see what is down the least right because we all know in a bearish market as soon as bitcoin goes down all the launch pads go down if bitcoin goes up all the launch pads pump right because the launch pads relative to the projects that they launch are directly correlated with the market sentiment so if the market sentiment is good the launch pads do well if they if the market sentiment is bad bearish the the launch pads are suffering and that's what we can see so across the seven day average near pad still uh, up a hundred percent but 20 percent down today and it appears they will continue to suffer other than that we're looking at three to fifteen percent gains and there are some significant losses starter losing 75 percent of its value phallus pad lo losing 40 percent of its value kcc pad tron pad 33 31 percent uh, it's it's real real crazy at the moment however also brings significant opportunity and the opportunity that i noticed was when i was making a review today i was making a review on metaverse pad it's a launch pad that hasn't launched that many projects but it's basically by good games guild so 
I like to make an entry here because I believe in Good Games Guild relatively low market cap from compared to what it has been relative to where they are right now. So in the bull run, they reached a valuation uh, on their token of about $16 on the all time high. And right now it's 60 cents. So it had definitely suffered. They introduced a launch pad into their ecosystem called Metaverse uh, Pad, where they launch Metaverse projects and they incubate those on Good Games Labs. So they're building out an ecosystem. So far, they have done four projects, only 300 people on their launch pad. So it's definitely really small, big opportunity to get high allocations. And they only raised 365K. So they did Karmaverse, Bulliverse, a Battle Enforcer. And I think they did some, some NFT project as well. Maybe it's this one, Battle of Guardians, I'm not sure. But I've been looking at uh, what they have done so far. Here's a complete list with the dates, the races, and the amount of participants. And I'm actually interested in Meta Shooter. So that's the project I reviewed today, which the review will come in the next couple of days on this YouTube channel. Uh, but it looks like a cool project. And then I looked at the staking, which is extremely uh, affordable at this moment. So 500 Good Games Guild tokens will get you guaranteed allocation. 500 Good Games Guild tokens at the moment is only $300, right? So for $300, you get guaranteed allocation. However, I'm looking at basically when I do make entries, as I always say, I, I tend to go for the highest entry. So 5,000 plus guaranteed, 10,000 plus is basically the highest tier. So I was looking at making an entry on the 10,000. Do keep in mind that um, your tokens will be locked for 14 days. After that, you're free to withdraw them, right? Put the signature. Okay, you will have to do KYC, right? Which is fine, which I can do. So all your US citizens, unfortunately, if you cannot KYC, you cannot participate. I don't know if there's actually a block list. They don't mention the block list. Uh, maybe they just want a copy of your driver's license and that's it. But yeah, KYC required there. And if you don't want to do KYC, join the Digits Club through the link in the description. Soon we will launch Digits Pad. It's only six weeks out-ish. And there's no KYC there. Bullish. Anyway, I'm looking at Good Games Guild Metaverse Pad right now. And now it makes sense while there are not so many people on their launch pad if it's also with KYC. But it's all uh, quite simple. It all looks quite simple. I'm doubting right now. Should I do 5,000 or 10,000? Should I go all in? But they don't have that many amazing projects. I could also do 5,000 now, depending on the price, do 5,000 later. Do like a risk tolerance kind of thing. I already transferred the BNB, so I can buy 10,000 if I want. Uh, but I'm not really sure. I'll probably do 5,000 at this point. I'll probably do 5,000, see how the projects do. If they get more projects, and then perhaps add 5,000 later, right? Because if we, I don't know if this token has had its TGE yet, it was January 22nd, and then they did another race March 3rd. So there was, I assume, a problem there with the race because that's such a gap in between. Uh, but let me see, the NOT token, commerce, here we go, 50 cents. And what did they, run it for just to have a look is that available maybe on the home page of previous listed projects commerce here we go that was the, this was the first come first serve though but i assume the price is the same token sale token price 0.5 so it's holding just on ido price but it, it did have a small spike but not that significant yeah so it's it's holding steady uh, but not where obviously you would want it to be but maybe that's because of the market conditions give them the benefit of the doubt right there and then your bulliverse bull token i don't like that project i i did a video on it bull finance yeah there's a lot of bull bull so a lot of people who use that acronym. It's not a smart choice. Bulliverse. 
six cents uh, that doesn't look good <laughs> if you look at the chart it already doesn't look good uh, the market cap was way way too high obviously it's at six cents and it, it was opened at 17 cents so that boulevard also first come first serve on this one and it's obviously in the potential as well four cents ah all right so that's not bad at all that it, it did really well in the launch and now it's basically still holding up quite well but in a linear downward trend as we can see so yeah not bad i'll do 5000 right now so good games guild i'm just going to be sure that i have the right contract to not get fucking scammed copy address good games guild there we go oh i have 8.8 .8 good games guild already in my wallet that's nice but i want to order 5000 uh, and that will be in BUSD, please. So about 3,000 US dollars. I have 6,000, so I can buy the 10,000, but we're just going to experience it first. Got my slippage. I'll just move my slippage down a little bit to 0.5 because I only need the 0.41. There's a lot of liquidity on Good Games Guild, so that's good. Swap my tokens. Yes, please. And there we go. So that purchase is done. We have uh, 5,000 Good Games Guild tokens We're going to for $3,000. We're going to stake those and we're going to join the hunting launch, which is called Meta Hunter, Meta Shooter, something like this. Meta Shooter, uh, which will allow us, and, and obviously we have to do the KYC, which will allow us to join after the KYC all the launches that they have upcoming on metaverse pad so this is basically the launch pad i want to show you as you guys know if you follow my youtube channel i've been expanding the amount of launch pads that i'm on and it's not a problem for me to track anything because i have track digits and if you want to use track digits check the link in the description but yeah the market is obviously quite bearish there's not much to say okay bitcoin is moving up just a little bit uh, but the launch pads are definitely not looking well. And that's just something you have to, to keep in mind, right? There's no use in selling these launch pad tokens right now. If you are a more experienced investor and you have no emotional attachment, then holding these launch pads through a bearish market will have significant rewards in the bull market, right? And that's basically the reason. Because I'm super busy, right? I don't have time that much to to trade coins as anymore as I did a couple of months ago, right? Even a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the micro cap gaming coins, that kind of stuff. I'm not really uh, active on that anymore as much. So right now I'm really looking more to acquire launch pads for the long term, right? I'm now looking to, to buy into quality launch pads with big potential for like the next year or so. Just hold the tokens for a year. It's not really about the tokens for me. It's about the access to the IDOs, which I want to focus on. So Metaverse Pad, another addition to the portfolio, sitting at about six or seven launch pads right now. So definitely uh, having a good spread and I can make insane content for you guys. And obviously that's what I'm here for as well. That's everything for today. It's looking bearish. Hopefully things will be better tomorrow. Do you have a cool launch pad that I should check out? Or do you know of an insane launch coming up? Put it down in the comments below and I'll be sure to have a look because I'm always interested in learning more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.